Hi, I'm Michael Mondragon, graphic designer for Nerdy Connections. Today we're going to do some digital painting techniques. Now you can get really elaborate with this, but we're going to keep it really basic. So let's go to that right now. So this is going to be a very simple digital painting technique uh, video. Uh, obviously you can get very elaborate with it, but just to uh, show the capabilities of what you can do um, with painting. So let's, let's make a new layer. We have a blank document here. So we're going to make a new layer and we're just going to put, we'll just make that 0, 01. Uh, you have different uh, marquees here, like if I wanted to create a square or a circle or even a single row, but I'm actually going to take this circle and I'm actually going to shift click and that's going to give me a selection and I can actually move that selection around wherever I want it. So this is a blank layer and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my paintbrush here and you have a pencil and you actually have some other things but we're going to stick with the brush right here and you can actually um, you have different brushes right here if you look at it and there's uh, you can actually click down here on the color and your color palette you can actually switch your color palette by going up and down here so let's just make uh, a blue color right here so we got that. We actually want to make this a little bit larger. So I'm going to pull that up. My opacity right now is 50%. So if, if it's at 100%, you can see that feather and it actually fills in very nicely. So let's Command Z that if we were to take our opacity down to about 50%, you're going to get a lighter color. Um, so let's actually Command Z that. So Let's go up, let's split the difference. We're gonna do about 75%. And let's say that our light source is actually coming in from the right, probably the right uh, top, hand, uh, top end of it. So let's actually start here. We're actually gonna click outside of the marquee. We're actually gonna go around. I'm clicking and dragging. And we got a really nice little thing right here and we're not worried about the light source at this point we're just going to make our circle and so we have that right there we can actually make another layer and I'm going to make this one for the behind I'm going to switch the color here by clicking on the color palette we're actually going to let's make this kind of a darker red and I can actually make this 0 2 by double clicking on that we're actually going to fill this so we'll fill with the foreground color so we have that from behind and right now it's at a hundred percent in our opacity uh, the difference between the opacities here is my brush opacity is 72 but the layer opacity is a hundred at this point so let's bring that down a bit and that'll bring back the texture or color behind that. So if I were to take this out, there would be nothing. It would just be transparent, but it's actually picking up that white. So we're actually going to knock that down just a bit. And remember, if we go back to our top layer here, we can actually multiply that so we get a different color with that as how it mixes with the color below it. So let's keep that. Um, we can actually knock down that opacity just a little bit. We'll put the opacity uh, to actually multiply is how it is going to interact with that other uh, layer. We're, we still have the marquee here, so let's make another layer. Uh, and we'll make this the highlight layer. And depending on your light source, which the color you want, so it's a lighter color, we're actually going to click this arrow right here so we get this, the foreground color, which is an all white right here. And we're actually going to uh, take this size down quite a bit see how big that would be we actually want it just a little bit bigger so with this highlight layer selected put that away and we're going to just simply click on that layer and what you can do is take down the opacity of that and we can actually make other highlights if we wanted to um, but this is just a ball in space. So we actually want to make it um, so it has a little bit of depth. 
Uh, so I'm going to deselect that layer. We're going to go out to the bottom layer, and we're actually going to make a layer on top of that. And let's make this the shadow. So we're actually going to make the, the ball shadow right here. We can actually select, select our marquee tool and set the feather. Let's make the feather about 25. And what this is going to do, instead of a hard edge, it's actually going to have a feathered edge. And what I like to do is take that, and I'm going to click and drag, and I'm going to make it about the width of this ball. And you can see the marquee is actually on the inside from where I selected. That's because it's feathered. I'm going to bring this down. And now I'm going to push D on the keyboard. That'll go back to my default color, so I have black right there. And I'm going to fill that with the shadow layer selected. I'm going to fill with the foreground color. And you see, if I deselect it, Command D on the keyboard, you can see how the opacity of it is. And we're actually going to make the opacity about 50%, So because it's not going to be that's more realistic. Um, right there, you can actually see that it's a transparent ball because it's straight through. That's the illusion that we're trying to create. Uh, another little trick that I like to do is I like to double up that shadow right there uh, because the actual shadow through the ball is going to give that impression, but the actual closer to the ball, you're actually going to need another shadow. So we're going to go to Edit, Scale, and I'm going to Hold down, hold shift, and I'm going to click that and push enter, and then put that right there, closer to that. And we're going to actually, because the opacity is the same as my other one, we're actually going to bring that down just a little bit. So it has a little bit of a extra shadow right there. So those are some basic digital uh, painting techniques that you can use, and obviously. You can make stuff more realistic, and uh, but this is actually a basic uh, guide to the things that you can do with digital painting. I'm Michael Mondragon from Nerdy Connections, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>